Hello and welcome. In this tutorial, I want to show you a cool technique how to make those perfect elements, those perfectly cut off elements to use for designs like that. This is something very useful to master in PowerPoint and it teaches you how to use the fragment option in PowerPoint. At first, I insert a shape. Let's make it quick, just a block arrow and a shape like that. Maybe it's too pointy right now, so I'll make it a bit less pointy. So I would like the lines to be here on the bottom and to be perfectly equal with this, uh, this line here. So let's try to make it. At first, I take another rectangle. This rectangle will be my line. I make it pretty narrow because this is just how I want this design to be. Okay, I have this little line and I just press Ctrl D a bunch of times, at least 10. Ctrl D, 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 D. Okay, D. That's enough. I take the first and last one. You can see PowerPoint is helping me to align this and I make uh, some space between them. This should be about right. If not, we will adjust this. Now just click, drag over all of those objects here, align, distribute horizontally, align, align middle, and we have now this perfectly straight. I am taking them with Ctrl G, I make one group so it's easier for me to turn them around. I'm placing them here and I try to make this like perfectly aligned with this object. You can see I should change the, the color and make no outline, so I better see this shape. And you can see it's kind of not perfect now. So I try to align. I'm watching the bottom and top if it's aligning well. Okay, it seems that this is now perfectly aligned with one another. I'm taking the first object and moving it inside of this object because the first object is only here to make this little space equal. Okay, perfect. Once you are ready with that, just right click on this group, group and ungroup. Now we need another object which will cut off the heads of those objects and this will make this perfectly straight line. I'm selecting another object, a big, big rectangle and this time the rectangle should be again another color. Maybe I overdone it with the big, it was even too big. So I'm taking this, this object now and I'm rotating it again to align with the second line now. You can see it's not perfectly here. Shape outline, no outline. I'm trying to make this like as good as I can, as straight as I can, as I can see. With my arrow keys, I can move it around. Still not perfect. I should come a bit closer. It would be maybe better visible. Okay, this line is good enough. Perfect. So we have this yellow object now selected and this is why I made it so big. So it's everything is very easy to select. Now I press shift and I select each of those line objects one by one. It's going pretty fast. So do not get discouraged. Once you have that and remember, first you need to select this big object. Then you need to select the lines one by one, not the other way around, because the first object will be the cutting off object, the fragmentation object. Once you have everything selected, shape format, merge shapes, and just fragment. Delete the big boy, delete the heads, delete, 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 delete. Also those, there are a bit too many of them, and this would be enough. If you want to cut off the bottom, you can also make a rectangle here, select a rectangle, select all of them, and again fragment them but for now, I'll leave it at that. We can, for example, press Ctrl G to group this or before you group, I want to delete the first one because the first one was only here to make this space equal. Group that again. And this is basically how you use the fragment function to create those equally perfectly cut off objects like that. Very beautiful. If you would like to learn more PowerPoint with me, you have, of course, links to my courses down below for now. Thank you very much for listening and see you in the next tutorials like this.